The Wood Wheaton GM Supercenter Cougar Close-Up is brought to you by Wood Wheaton GM Supercenter in Prince George. For more information, www.woodwheaton.com. This was supposed to be a big season for the Prince George Cougars, but losing key players to injuries, suspensions, and the NHL turned the Cats into a team struggling for goals and for Ws. Uh, it's tough. You know, we've got a good team, we've got a good goalie. Uh, obviously, it would be nicer to have a bit more wins, but at the same time, we've got uh, good development coming right now with all the young guys. They've been playing a lot, they've been developing. Um, I think the next few years are going to be good for the team here. It's just when will it all kick in? Will it be next year? Will it be a couple years down the road? A season lacking in offense has caused more defense focused players like Greg Fraser to be dependent on to provide goals. Luckily for the Cougars, an increase in goal scoring was already something Greg had in mind. It's one of the things I came back wanting to do. I wanted to be one of the top goal scorers on the team. Uh, I was looking forward to being able to challenge Connell and Charles, but at the same time, they're not here, like you said. So I'm kind of pushing myself a little bit now, and Spencer's right there too, and we've been kind of going back and forth for the last three years now with who scores when, and right after each other, we be both score. So we've kind of got a pretty good friendly competition going with each other. Uh, Berkey and Siwak are now pushing our pushing from behind and so we both need to just kind of step up and pull away but, but we're both doing what we can and we'll just, it's just a matter of time. You know he's a very reliable guy when it comes to the penalty kill and, and he can play the wing or, or center and I think that uh, you know right now he's tied with our team in, in league scoring and uh, you know so you know obviously provides and plays a lot of minutes for us so uh, you know we need that we don't have a lot of older guys and Greg is one of those older guys that's uh, 19 and he's a forward and uh, he's got to provide a lot of leadership for those young kids. After four years with the Cougars, Greg's seen a couple trips to the playoffs and also some pretty rough seasons. Not so surprisingly, Greg's well aware of the experience the younger Cougar players gain when they're not winning as many games as they'd like. Uh, they learn how to battle through adversity, uh, that's for sure. They learn how to come back from when they're down and not give up for any amount of time. Anything goes wrong, you need to keep going, and that's what you learn from the kind of tight games where you lose one nothing or you come back and you win 2-1 or anything like that. For Greg, the possibility is still open for a fifth tour in the dub. But if not, it might not be the end of his hockey career. Uh, I'd, love, I'd love to get a contract here, uh, or at least get an opportunity to go somewhere. But at the same time, if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. And I'm looking to go to the university into kinesiology somewhere and try and have a good career in the CIS and kind of get a good job over that. For Shaw TV and Prince George, I'm Kevin Neal. The Wood Wheaton GM Supercenter Cougar Close-Up has been brought to you by Wood Wheaton GM Supercenter and Prince George. For more information, woodwheaton.com or find us on Facebook.